Hi YouTube FT here and I've got a yabo but first of all the housekeeping I'm smoking my Eagle's Claw Meerschaum and in it I'm smoking McCullen's number 12. Well, this package is from Patrick the Pipe. But before I do that, I'd just like to say thank you to Stefan in Germany. He did a shout out for me uh, in German. So thank you very much, Stefan, for that. Well, this package from Patrick is, in fact, my own on Paul. Uh, it's one I bought last year at an auction with my brother, a live auction with my brother. And I was making a video using it one day, and Patrick sent me a note saying that thing looks really run down and a bit knackered. You know, why don't you send it to me and see what, what we can do about it. So I did. Um, paid my dues in tobacco. Patrick kindly did a box opening when he received it. Um, I'd asked Patrick to, I'd asked Jay, DigiSX to, and I'd asked Sarge to. I don't think Jay and Sarge have got their boxes yet. The reason for that now is because this big gold stamp here the day I went to post the packages out was the day before all the prices changed and they had to use all their old stamps so their packages have actually got lots of individual little stamps on with franking marks on them uh, as you used to get back in the day instead of these computer printed labels I'm drinking coffee It's um, mid-afternoon here in the UK. I have not seen this. It's all totally sealed. So let's see what the Welsh Wizard has done for me. What got in here? It's well protected in bubble wrap. And inside a bag. So this is the first time... Oh! Oh, hang on. Oh, it's really nice, Patrick. Patrick's actually put it in a bag, in a pipe bag. Thank you. Right, this will be the first time we all see it. A lot of the problems with it was on the stem, and I had butchered it. I had used a Dremel with a sand with a, a polishing pad, and I had tried to take the. Uh, the patina, the yellow that had uh, appeared on the stem um, and I produced lots and lots of flat surfaces and it, I tried to kid myself saying it looked alright but it didn't, it was dreadful so the light might not do it justice in here let's see what we got, ok let's hold it the right way Oh, wow, Patrick. It feels totally different. It looks different as well. It's so nice. The silver band is so polished. It's great. And that stem is, is not flat black with flat patches. It's lovely and smooth and shiny. Mm. Yep, Patrick also said that he uh, sorted out the ball hole here because it wasn't very good. This is lovely. He's, he's set that in so well. 
And it's a Peterson system pipe and that just sits in there beautifully. Yeah. Fantastic Patrick. <laughs> oh what a job. That's a totally different pipe now. I'll be proud of smoking that now Patrick. So thank you very much. I can't get this McCullens to stay alight. It's a totally different pipe Patrick, it looks, I know it's not new, but it's how you would expect the brand new pipe to look, but it, it's still got that, that patina and used look on it. The, the, the silver has come up so nicely, and that stem is smooth to the touch instead of having lots and lots of flat surfaces on it. Patrick said that uh, I should destroy the tool that I used to try and uh, refurbish this stem. And I pointed out to Patrick that I don't actually think it's the tool, I think it was the operator of that tool. And I put my hand up and plead guilty on that one. Because if you have a pipe that could do with a real good spit and polish, and you're not sure where to send it, get in touch with Patrick because I'm absolutely sure he'll uh, sort you out. New lease of life on that pipe Patrick. Thank you. Now, what else needs sorting out here? <laughs> Actually, I'm quite serious, Patrick. This one I bought. If you're up for it, you can give it a jolly good polish and sort that stem out. So I'll send you a PM and see if you're uh, up for that one. And of course, uh, if you want the tobacco payment, I'll do the tobacco payment. Thanks Patrick. Keep your pipes alight, stay safe and until next time, cheers.